Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this system of equation from here? Let's label this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. From equation 1, there we have x minus y equals to 2. Then we can make x the subject of the formula here and take minus y here become plus. So we have x equals to y plus 2. Then from uh, equation 2, we can we have x y equals to 2 from here. Then we can substitute this value of x into equation 2 and this will be y plus 2. Then close bracket times y will then be equals to 2. Then when we solve from here, why we open this bracket, we have y square then plus 2y then equals to 2 from here then we can take 2 to this side to form an equation and that will be y square plus 2y then minus 2 equals to 0 here then we can solve this quadratic equation using quadratic formula and we have y now equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square minus 4a that's 1 then c that's minus 2 over 2a 2 times 1 then from here when we solve this we have y now equals to minus 2 plus or minus we have square root of 4 here we have plus 8 then over 2 from here. Then 4 plus 8, there that's 12. So we have y equals to minus 2 plus or minus root 12 over 2. And then we can separate root 12 as a, here it can be written as root 4 times 3. And root 4 there is 2. We take it out and that will be 2 root 3. So the 12 here can be written as 2 root 3. So we have y now equals to minus 2 plus or minus 2 root 3 all over 2. So 2 we go here. 1, 2 we go here 1. So we now have y equals to minus 1 plus or minus root 3. So we have two values of y here. So here we say let y1 here be equals to minus 1 plus root 3 and then y2 be equals to minus 1 minus root 3 then we can get the corresponding value of x from the relation we use from equation 1 we have x equals to y plus 2 then for x1 that will now be equals to y1 plus 2 so we have minus 1 plus root 3 then plus 2. So that means here we have 2 minus 1, that's 1. So we now have x1 here to be equal to 1 plus root 3. So the first set of solution, which is x1, comma y1 here, we then be equal to, we have 1 plus root 3, then comma minus 1 plus root 3. Then on the other side as well, we can get the corresponding value of x, which is x2 now. Using this relation, which is y plus 2, that's y2 plus 2, we have minus 1 minus 3, then plus 2. We have the constant here and the constant, we have 2 minus 1, that's c1. So this x2 now will be equals to 1 minus root 3. So now the second set of solution here, which is now x2 comma y2, can be written as, so this will be equals to x2 1 minus root 3, then we have minus 1 minus root 3. So we have these two set of solutions from here, then we can check to see if this satisfies the problem. We have from the equation 1, we have x minus y equals to 2. 
and then equation 2 what we have is xy equals to 2 now for this first set of solution when we substitute the value of x and y in the first you know equation here we have x that's 1 plus root 3 then minus y so that's minus into bracket minus 1 plus root 3 now with this be equals to 2 from here then when we see that of course this minus open bracket and then we are going to have 1 plus root 3 now then my, that's plus 1 minus root 3 is it equals to 2 from here then we have plus root 3 minus root 3 cancel out 1 plus 1 that's 2 of course that's equal to 2 left hand side is equal to the right hand side and uh, it satisfies the first equation that the second equation now we can also test the product of the two we have less two mixes of the first one we have here same thing as x plus let's write it as root 3 plus 1 same thing as that when we rearrange then times here which is y we can also write it as root 3 minus 1 is it equals to 2 from here now when we look at this from here it follows from when we have a plus b then times a minus b which is same thing as a square minus b square from perfect square and uh, these are conjugate sorts so this will now be root 3 square minus 1 square is it equal to 2 from here then square cancel square root here that's 3 then 1 square that's 1 is it equal to 2 so we have 2 here which is equal to 2 also we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side and also it satisfies the second left equation and uh, which will also be true for this you know second set of solution we can as well check that this we can do that to confirm if that satisfies the given problem and uh, we have come to the end of this class thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos turn on the notification bell share this video give it thumbs up put your comment in the comment section and uh, thank you see you in the next class and bye for now